Disclaimer, this video will not be edited due to unavoidable circumstances. Kindly bear with me. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anne. I am a Kenyan working and living here in Saudi Arabia. And on this channel, I talk about my own personal experiences as a domestic worker living here. If it's your first time on this channel, kindly hit the red subscribe button, turn on your bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, it's always a pleasure having you here. So guys, I hope you are all doing well and keeping safe. I'm also well, I thank God, yeah. Um, I don't want to waste too much time. Number one, I'm bored. I am bored AF. Can you imagine? I, I, I have been working thinking that I'm recording a video. I didn't press the play button. That one has really like changed my mood. But all in all, I know you, you are all waiting for a part two. This is just, I don't know. I feel so bad. Anyway, guys, let's go into the video. Um, apparently, I've already finished packing. I wish it was filming. I just wish. You know how you keep going to check if the phone is filming? I wish I checked because you would have seen the struggles that I've gone through. Guys, yeah? Um, as you can see, that is my luggage over there I'm just <laughs> I think I have exceeded the don't try to embarrass me <laughs> it's embarrassing me and I'm not going to edit this video because guys a lot has to be done within no time yeah so I, i'm saying i wish i showed you the struggles i had guys my advice is if you're traveling pack in advance i don't want to blame myself because you know how these people are almost all my things were in the other house yeah so i kept telling them take me i need to pack i need to pack they took me two days so this is me packing two days to my flight did actually it's not it's no longer two days it's one day um that is why i'm feeling so nervous so everything because had i packed in advance i would have known like um a lot of things but i don't want to go there i don't know if i should show you what i've packed in my i'll just tell you what i packed yeah so there's this bag there's my handbag should i bring it <laughs> okay so there's this handbag it's really simple i bought it at five real and this bag i've packed a pair of pants and a pair of t-shirt the reason why I've packed this pair of pants and t-shirts is because my journey will begin on 6th, which is Friday. I'll travel from uh, the city that I'm living in right now and I'll be heading to Damam. It's a long journey, almost 7 or 8 hours. And then I will be... After traveling to Cairo, I'll be stuck there for eight hours. You know, we are all women. Anything can happen. And this Saudi weather and sweating and everything. So I just thought it twice to pack one, uh, one uh, another pair of clothes because, you know, she happens. Also, it's full of my chargers, these things. And then... This my bosses are giving me things last minute. I won't remove them because you know these things. They are used to prepare a meal here in Saudi Arabia. It's called Babuk or something like that. So the mother of this house brought me four packs. 
guys i didn't have anywhere to place them there she also brought me some uh, these dates i don't know i'll just pick them because it's it's not right to like refuse i'm not refusing it's just that i don't have any other space but i just accept and then when i go out there i can give to people out there i can give to the guys in the petrol station or the car wash or anywhere so this is where i'll place this has my notebook my sunglasses everything 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 that i think i'll need my wallet and most importantly i'll store my ticket and my passport here so i didn't even tell you guys after my boss had paid my ticket a lot of things started erupting they want me back they kept pressuring me and you know you guys if you say you're not coming back you can't say that you can't say so i said that i'm coming back although i'm not sure you know in our language we say do not the, do not bang the door while going out because you might need it when coming back so i just want to live peacefully i think if i'm not sure i don't i it's not my intention to come back but you know never say never so um as you can see they i don't know if you all can see but they have a stamped an entry visa here and yeah i'll go and i'll think of uh, what to tell them because i want i didn't want to tell them at this point because you guys i'm scared i've been panicking a lot lately like you saw the last video i did when i'm washing up there i was really i was really scared like scared today i kept panicking when uh, i was told to cook fries i kept imagining the oil might spill on me <sighs> those weird thoughts the other time when i was washing up i kept imagining that i will fall and uh, i don't know i don't know but um i need to relax i'm panicking a lot so this bag i'll be putting on my phones my everything some sanitizer my masks i don't know what they are doing here they're supposed they're supposed to be in the bag i'll put them well and basically everything that i'll be needing these are just my items and everything i've already put the clothes that i'm gonna wear tomorrow <laughs> not tomorrow the day after tomorrow so once again those are my luggage that is my luggage and i kind of feel like i've exceeded the kilos given but i can't leave uh, my items here i threw away most of the things they bought for me because uh, this this mama is very keen on buying someone like this tights t-shirts pjs anything that i didn't buy with my money i put it aside because uh, i needed to prioritize with the things i bought with my money you feel me there are some things i i could not leave they bought for me like these clothes this uh, heavy pjs you can wear during we wear during this the winter season I couldn't resist I couldn't resist carrying the very heavy um not very heavy but quite warm things that they bought for me over the last winters so um but I can't deny that I've, I've disposed a lot of things especially uniforms I wish I wish I knew someone like this runaways the camboys i wish i knew someone who needs them because some of them buy for themselves but unfortunately i don't know and i want to leave these places clean i don't know i didn't want to leave any of my clothes so i'm just going to dispose them away because for me let me tell you 
you see these people yes i won't say they are not kind but the things they give outside we don't do that like in kenya i find it wrong to like because i've won i've won i've won i've won and then it's all i don't I, okay i have that type of feeling so i don't like giving some i don't know i just feel some different type of way um and this reminds me that when my when i gave birth to my baby i kept piling up all her baby clothes because apparently i didn't know if i would give them to someone and they would love them you know i know i know people will need them but um it's just i don't know this feeling i don't know i tend to overthink and say maybe they won't like it maybe they will think i'm giving them all things you know so if i'm giving you something trust me i'm giving you something that is in good quality in the meantime these are just uniforms you know i can't take them to kenya because uh, in kenya we don't wear such you know so yeah um another update is that this this compressing bags really came in handy as you can see it compresses 75% of the item that you have yeah they came really they came in very handy one of them goes for 5 reals and this thing is you can recycle you can when you want to unpack you'll just open the the part that you vacuum through and you the air will get in and the bag will just open yeah if you don't have a vacuum um, i saw a video someone taking in the air like like sucking the air inside the bag and um, yeah it is working so that is my situation i was so down i didn't know i would film this video because you know, after filming for all that long i still couldn't believe so guys um tomorrow is uh, when if i'm not wrong tomorrow is fifth I'll be going for my COVID test and um, so that I can begin my journey the following day. I told you guys that I was not going to undo my hair. This is the time I'm undoing my hair. Like guys, if you are traveling, just compose yourself. Don't be, don't trash like me. But I don't as much as uh, I don't want to blame myself too much because it was beyond me because as much as um, I need it is everything is waiting for me downstairs yeah the cleaning the everything each time I get some little free time I'm coming here and this reminds me that I haven't been loyal to my fellow small youtubers and i'm so sorry you guys will have to bear with me i'm so sorry i see you in the comment section and i feel i'm indebted i know when i settle down you guys i'm gonna show up on your channels also we are on a road to 1001k subscribers and i can't wait to mention your names in the that is all i can do because um we need to like support each other and i'm so happy for the support we give each other out here so i think i will end this one here uh, this was my packing uh, part two vlog although it didn't go as i expected it to go i wanted you to see the struggles i went through when I think also it did the choice of the bags you buy is also a very is also very important. Also another hack when packing the bags because you know like in this house I don't have a, like that weighing scale. I don't know. I'm just I'm just estimating, you know. So the things you know you really really need 
put them down the things you know that uh, i don't i can do without put them up here so that in case you go to the airport and you're told unpack no you have an extra this and this kilos you'll just remove uh, you just remove the things you don't need the things you are sure that is why you're supposed to pack in advance so that you think about these things just cross fingers for me because if they say that one bag can't fit <laughs> do you know i don't have a bra i forgot to remove and i don't know what i think i'll buy or i'll go like that commando style because if i open one bag it cannot close again actually i was wondering why are my arms aching I didn't realize it's the way I was trying to press the bags like this so that they can close here. Yeah? So guys, I'm gonna end this one here. It's almost 2 p.m. 2 a.m. Sorry. I have to go for the COVID test tomorrow at 11. And I'll let you guys know how it goes. So if you have any question uh, you, want to, you want to ask, you can ask. And um, I just hope I didn't forget anything. So guys, wish me luck. And I don't ever think that I don't see your comments. I see them and I read each one of them. I try as much as possible when I'm free. When I'm free to at least like and comment your, on your replies. Because uh, they just make my day. You guys are so amazing. Like you care so much. You care too much. And I'm so indebted. So guys, I just, I'll just i just try to catch some sleep. As I try to catch some sleep, I'll just be undoing some small hair. Here and there. So that we balance everything. I think I'll come back. I'll show you the style that I will be wearing when I'm going home. It's nothing major. I have this. I have this styling gel, so I'm just going to be on my natural hair and um, apply some styling gel, and that will be it. So let's meet on the other video. Thank you so much, and kindly do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like and. We thank God we are growing, we are growing. So till next time, stay blessed. Goodbye.